The Path of Perfection Introduction When we see a book with a title like The Path of Perfection we may react with a bit of common skepticism Oh another book claiming to give all the answers one more do it yourself enlightenment scheme and certainly it seems that such skepticism is justified nowadays our natural desire for ultimate meaning happiness enlightenment liberation and salvation has become the most exploited commodity of the 21st century creating what one contemporary theologian termed a disastrous seduction of the spirit this seduction is indeed the most tragic kind of exploitation and the unfortunate consequence of this exploitation is a kind of deadening cynicism that discourages our search for self fulfillment and a means to attain it the contemporary thoughtful reader weary of the current flood of speculative simplistic books offering instant formulas for psychological or spiritual salvation will find the path of perfection a welcome relief herein one will find a clear intriguing explanation of the philosophy and practice of mankind's oldest system of spiritual development yoga when we hear the word yoga we may think of one of the myriad yoga studios throughout the country filled with people of all ages struggling to stretch their bodies in various ways to improve their health lose weight or increase their agility this is not what we mean by yoga here we are referring to an ancient philosophy and meditational system that has been practiced by millions throughout the ages what has in modern times been reduced to a commercially exploited technique of bodily agility and unfocused meditation was once a comprehensive and easily applied form of self realization the path of perfection consists of a historic series of talks elaborations on a previously published commentary by his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhupad 1896 to 1977 on india's greatest spiritual classic the bhagavad gita in these absorbing talks shila prabhupad explores deeply the philosophy of yoga as explained in the 6th and 8th chapters of the gita showing clearly how these timeless teachings apply to 21st century mankind shila prabhupad talks probe questions concerning the nature of consciousness techniques of meditation karma death reincarnation and even spiritual ecstasy the bhagavad gita described by one contemporary psychologist as a remarkable psychotherapeutic session appears to us in the form of an extraordinary dialogue between the supreme lord krishna and his warrior disciple arjun perplexed and confused about his identity and purpose arjun turns to krishna who reveals the path of perfection to his able student the essence of lord krishna's teachings is that one must become a yogi that is one whose life is centered on the practice of yoga and what is yoga the sanskrit word yoga literally means union and refers to the union in love between the individual consciousness and the supreme consciousness the self and the super self the soul and god yoga is indeed the path of perfection because it aims toward this most exalted human attainment in the bhagavad gita we discover four basic varieties of yoga described karma yoga refers to the process whereby one performs his work for god without the selfish desire for personal gain gyana yoga is the process of elevation to spiritual consciousness through the cultivation of philosophical knowledge the ashtang yoga system of which the modern hatha yoga is a watered down version is a mechanical meditative practice meant to control the mind and senses and focus one's concentration on the supreme these three yoga systems culminate in bhakti yoga the yoga of selfless ecstatic devotional love of god krishna 
Lord Krishna himself states in the last verse of chapter 6 of all yogis the one with great faith who always abides in me thinks of me within himself and renders transcendental loving service to me he is the most intimately united with me in yog and is the highest of all in the path of perfection shrila prabhupad offers a brilliant summary of the methods of bhakti yog revealing the universal applicability of the simple but all inclusive form of yog he shows how even those who are entangled in the complexity and chaos of modern materialistic life can begin an uncomplicated practice that purifies the mind and puts one in touch with supreme consciousness this perhaps was shila prabhupad's greatest contribution to our age shila prabhupad was an acknowledged master scholar of india's ancient spiritual culture and of its linguistic foundation the sanskrit language but he was not merely a textual scholar or a philosopher or theologian engaged in the manufacture of interesting philosophical or theological notions he was a true spiritual genius who succeeded in bringing to life the essence of india's universal spiritual wisdom in a form that is easy for 21st century man to understand and practice this was the unique genius that inspired the late prime minister of india shri lal bahadur shastri to declare openly that the writings of shila prabhupad are a significant contribution to the salvation of mankind the transforming quality of shila prabhupad's writings was also appreciated by sociologist elvin h powell who commented on shila prabhupad's best selling edition of the bhagavad gita this transcendental mysticism from the east is now taking root in the west and providing for many a way out of the wilderness of a disintegrating civilization if truth is what works there must be a kind of truth in the bhagavad gita as it is since those who follow its teachings display a joyous serenity usually missing in the bleak and strident lives of contemporary people the publishers